welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a series about Japanese gels and maybe this can help you decide if Japanese gel is for you. Now, if you don't know Japanese gel, they made their debut in the US around 2015 and with that came the brand Vetro, one of the first to hit the US. Up to date, there is four Japanese gel that I know of that you can get your hands on in the US. And they are, of course, Vetro, uh, Leaf Gel, Coquas, and Presto. Hey, if you don't know me already, I am Nolly Licensed Nail Tech and Educator. Today's video, I'm going to talk about the brand Presto Gels. Now, Presto was created in 2009 and they were created by fusing nail technology and dental technology in mind. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, I've used Presto gels here and there, but not to its full potential. Uh, Presto has gone through some changes over the years since I last used their products. Like when I first bought their product, some of their gels, um, it came in four gram jars, but now those are all discontinued and they are now offering 2.7 gram jars instead. You'll see that all the jars that I've gotten here are much older because I haven't um, invested in Presto Gel for a while. So they have changed their branding since. Presto Gel do offer their gels in polished bottle form and they do state that some viscosity in their bottle form might be a little bit different from their potted ones. So just kind of keep that in mind. I'll get into talking about the three main products that I feel are the most important. And they are base gel, top gel, and structure gel. These are the most important to me because if you get your hands on base coat or a top gel, then you're set. They are pretty much the glue to holding down your manicure and making them last. Let's talk about base gel. Here are the lineup on their base gel. So you have your regular base coat, no sanding base coat, and your easy off base coat. I feel like these are your typical base that the Japanese gel do offer and you'll probably have to play around with these to figure out what works. I tend to gear towards just the regular base coat. Now we're gonna jump into top coat. So with Presto, looks like they offer five top gel. You have your main top gel where you have to wipe and then your no wipe and your matte top coat. They offer two more top coats uh, which are soft and hard top gel. I haven't used these myself, but let's go ahead and talk about them. From reading off what they offer, it uh, looks like with the soft top gel, from the looks of it, it states that the soft top is recommended for people with thin or soft nails. Basically, I'm thinking that this will not have like some kind of heat spike because when you have thin nails, you're gonna feel that heat spike right off the bat. So this top is going to help elim eliminate that. It's still going to offer glossiness and easy removal. With the next one, it is their hard top gel. Looks like with this one, it's gonna have a more hard viscosity to it, which they do say that will not soak off. My guess is this is great for adding that extra strength towards the end of your gel manicure or your polish while still offering a glossy shine. When I see these kinds of top coats, my guess is that this will be great 
also for encapsulating nail art with. So that's basically what Presto offer with top gel and base gel. Presto does offer sculpting gel as well, but be mindful that their sculpting gels are not soakable, meaning they are not the soft gel type to be able to soak off with acetone. I won't go into too much detail with sculpting because I haven't used their sculpting, but definitely look into that if you're interested. You'll find that Presto offers a good range of colors in jars and in bottle forms. They do have about two to three colors that are not offered as soak off. So make sure that you are paying attention to that when getting your hands on these colors. I think they have a great selection and the pigmentation on these gels are great. I do recommend using their base gel or top gel with any of their color because I've had found issues that with their colors, if you're using other gel like base gel, top gel, they tend to crack on me. So make sure that you keep that in mind. But these gels do have a good viscosity to them, which makes them great for gel art. And I hope you learned a bit more about this brand and your why choosing Japanese gels. Now, if you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.